Hey, oh, I've got a date. Oh, I've got a date. Got to make sure my tail's nice and fluffy. And got to make sure I'm not weird. Oh, I've never had a date before, so... Oh, wait a moment. Have I never had a date before? Like, actually. Well, no, of course I've had a date. Of course I have. So was that... No, no, that was an Amazon delivery person. Yeah, it was raining, wasn't it? And uh, they got stuck in the bookshop, but accidentally got turned into a manticore, but they did stay for tea afterwards. Mostly because they wanted me to fix it. Still, that kind of is... Well, no, okay, that's not a date. Uh, either way, don't get in your own head about it, it's fine. Everything will be fine, just gotta stay here, brushing my tail in the mirror, and... Uh, okay, you have been uh, standing behind me for how long... Oh, who am I kidding? Knowing my life and its general cliches, you've been standing there since I started talking. Um, hopefully that is not going to go into the I'm weird category and more into the I'm cute category, because you do tend to call me cute. And while at first I was kind of buying into the whole masculinity thing of being called cute wasn't a good thing, I kind of like it. It makes me blush. Um, and the fact that you think I'm cute really makes me blush. And I'm going on, aren't I? Uh, either way, date. Yes. I've got a date with you. <laughs> oh, that's interesting to stay out loud with another person. Another person being you, the person I've got a date with. Oh, my. Okay, okay, anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, wh what was it you wanted to do uh, today? Oh, you can pick if you want. Uh, oh, you, you want me to pick? Oh, well, oh, nobody's actually ever asked me what I wanted to do. Before, whenever I'm lucky enough to be in large groups, I kind of just stand in the background and follow with everyone else. I kind of just hope they'll keep me nearby. I'm not quite used to being the the loin leader of my own life. Uh, oh, that's not charming. Ah, uh, okay. So, um, things to do on a date. I know all about dates, obviously. I've read a lot of books about them. Um, let's see. Oh, I know. Um, well. This is going to be kind of on brand for me, but uh, there's a tea shop uh, just a little ways away. Uh, it's lovely. Uh, they have high tea, and a high tea is where you get a lovely lunch and a pot of tea and you share it. And it's very lovely, and um, I, I would love to do that with you. Um, and they've got sweets. They've got so many lovely sweets, and I could, I could show you all of the nice sweets and tell you about them. Because I like to bake as well in my spare time, so like, I know all of the puff pastries, and the shoe pastry dough, and all that kind of stuff, they've got eclairs, and oh, I could tell you about pastry creams, and oh, okay, I'm going on again. We should just go on the date, shouldn't we? Just go on the date, stop talking about the date, and just kind of, uh, go on, right? Right, right, okay, I'll grab my coat, um, would, would you like a coat? Uh, I mean, you didn't, you didn't bring a coat. Oh, well, it's a little bit chilly. I mean, if you want, I could curl my tail around your shoulders while we walk. And uh, that would keep you nice and warm. Is that too forward? Oh, it's not. It's not too forward. Okay. Again, trying to be more confident this year. Uh, you know, uh, really uh, sell the confidence skunk kind of thing. Yeah, be a be a confident boyfriend. Oh, am I your boy? Or that. Be your confident uh, date. Let's just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Date. Yes. Um. Okay. So... Cool with that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Cool, Rooney. Cool, Rooney. Yay. Um, anyway, yes, um, so I got my coat, um, and, uh, let's head out, shall we? Ah, here it is. Um, Tales and Tea. Uh, it's a nice place. It's, uh, run by a lovely, uh, a lovely Lima woman, uh, who, you know, uh, runs the tea shop. Um, I, I, I used to come here a lot, but, uh, Recently, they oh, he kind of stopped coming because, uh, you know, someone uh, complained. It was, was it, it wasn't my fault. I, don't, I like to think. Uh, and then, you know, the, the owner said it was all right. The owner said it was all right. But you know, I was a little self-conscious. I think, you know, people just don't want a skunk sitting nearby. We can get a table in the back. I guess. But, you know, no? Oh, of course, of course. I'm sorry. You, you keep telling me to stop being, uh, you know, so self-defacing. But, uh... You know, I've had years of practice. Really, I really should practice other things, shouldn't I? Um, but you know, let's let's not get in our own heads about it. Um, now, uh, I made a reservation on my phone. I've got an app, so we should just uh, walk in, grab a number, and uh, they'll lead us to a table. Uh, and uh, I'll ask uh, that they don't put us in the back. 
All right. Oh, yes, thank you. Um, yep, that's me. Cool. All right. Oh, right over here. Cool, 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 cool. Ah. You know, one thing I like about this, uh, this tea shop in particular, it's called, uh, Tea and Tails because they've got nice, uh, nice wide, uh, holes in the backs of the chairs for a tail. Because, you know, a lot of, a lot of chairs have, like, augmentations for tails, but mine's a uh, little large and noticeable, so a lot of times it doesn't really fit and the circulation gets weird and when, you know, my tail gets uncomfortable then the scent hand's going to get a bit antsy and then stuff can happen. But it doesn't happen here because i got all kinds of chairs for all kinds of species and I really love that, you know, kind of um, augmentations to make sure everyone's comfortable. It's a lovely thing to see in the universe and I could talk for ages about the infrastructure but I'm... I'm rehammering re on, aren't I? <laughs> As I want to do, um... What kind of tea would you like? I think I'm going to order the, uh, the blueberry jam. The blueberry jam, yes. It's a lovely fruity tea, and it's a lovely day. It's a lovely zippy sort of day, so like a lovely zippy blueberry jam tea with a bit of lemon. Sounds absolutely amazing. And like, uh, you know, something kind of light and refreshing will really go with, uh, the kind of heavier, creamy sort of desserts that'll come with high tea, and maybe some of the sandwiches and things. Um, but anyway, uh, you can order whatever you like. It's on me. Um, I don't leave the bookshop much, so I've actually got a lot of savings for this kind of thing. Uh, you know, being an extra, being a, well not an extrovert, being an introvert, that's the word. Uh, being an introvert is actually really, really good, uh, for one's wallet. <laughs> um, yes. Ah, uh, but anyway, um, I would like to thank you for going out with me. Um, since Valentine's Day, I've really loved, uh, getting to know you. Um, but, I, you've mentioned I haven't talked about myself much, uh, so I guess I'll do that, if it's all, yeah, it's all right, it's all right, okay, um, well, uh, I own a bookstore, uh, it's called Belfry Books, um, it's called that mostly because, uh, it was owned by a bat, but then that changed slightly through a bunch of stuff we'll kind of get into later, um, but I've owned it for about, uh, I want to say four or five years now, um, it's nice, it's quiet, doesn't make a ton of money, but I don't need a ton of money, I don't think, um, but, um, uh, you know, I, uh, I grew up, um, little ways out of town. Uh, I grew up near a river, actually. It was quite nice, uh, growing up near the river. Uh, go swimming whenever you want, although <laughs> the fag is kinda heavy when you do that. Uh, I had lots of sisters. Uh, no brothers, all sisters. Um, you know, and, uh, it was interesting, uh, growing up that way, but... I, uh, you know, you kinda feel a bit lonely in a crowded room, you know, being, uh, the only one like you in a, in a family. Um... Dad and Mom are always kind of busy. Uh, so, you know, just me and all them. Uh, and they all, as we got older, kind of split into little groups. And, you know, I was the ninth child, so uh, eight is an even number, but nine, you got one extra. And I'm the one extra. Uh, you know, it sounds really bad when I phrase it that way, doesn't it? Um, but it wasn't that bad, all told. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Um, but, you know... Uh, being, being a species that, uh, you know, people kind of get thoughts in their head about. You, you face little, little challenges here and there, and, and that mixed with the, you know, growing up the way I did, it uh, kind of gave me not the best self-esteem. I've been fixing it lately, but I find, uh, you know, a lot of us kind of, uh, have problems from when we grew up in childhood, and we're just kind of constantly, uh, constantly fixing ourselves. I don't know the name of it, but um, in a lot of Asian cultures, uh, they've got this practice where if you break a bowl, and uh, you fix it with glue with gold in it, and then all the cracks become this lovely golden inlay within, like, uh, the actual pottery. And it's and it's absolutely beautiful, because the little cracks and, and breaks become a beautiful part of the, of the whole piece. And I think, I think life's kind of like that. It's kind of like a bowl. It's constantly breaking, but we try our best to fix it with streaks of gold. And, uh, you know, our cracks become a beautiful part of us, and I think... I am quite cracked, so I am more cracked than Bowl, but uh, I'm trying my best, and I think, uh, you know, meeting you, you've kind of handed me a little tin of gold paint to help with my self-esteem issues. Um, but, you know, I'm being, I'm being sappy, and I don't want to put you on the sport to put you on a pedestal, anything like that, because I know that can be quite uncomfortable, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm working through my issues, and we've been knowing each other for a while now, I think we should, you know, talk frankly, and, uh, you know, just, uh, be as much of ourselves, genuinely, as possible. If possible. Um, anyway. <laughs> sorry for my sadness. Oh! Oh, the food's here! Yes, it's rescued me, hasn't it? 
<laughs> okay, okay. Um, well, here's my pot of blueberry jam tea, and there's your pot. Um, you can flavor it as you like. I know you like your sweetness a certain way, so I'll let you do that. Um, and uh, you know, we've got a plate of sweets, we've got a plate of sandwiches. Just have whatever you like, and we'll enjoy talking to each other while we have uh, tea and treats. So, um, why don't you tell me about yourself? Oh, that's absolutely lovely. You know, I had a similar experience way back when I was, uh, visiting Beatry, a country a little ways away from- Oh! <laughs> oh! Almost dropped a dish there, um... Quite cut it on instinct, uh, okay. Sometimes they're out now, um... Cut the salsa with them, uh... Okay, and now people are kind of staring. Um... Yeah! Not all skunks can do that. I'm not sure if you were aware of that. It's kind of a solid effect of the bookstore. Uh... Because, you know, the bookstore is kind of magic, and, uh, kind of rubs off on you after a while. Um, I'm just going to put that down and call the Sintans back, and, uh, oh, okay, um, you know what? They can stay. They can stay if they want. Um, but let's finish our tea. Um, anyway, uh, or, as you were saying about your own anxieties, um, I could help with those. I wanted to try again, um. We get back to the bookstore, maybe I could try some more hypnosis on you, and we could see if that helps, if you want. Maybe even try some transformation for funsies. Look, the last two times it's happened, I've turned you into a skunk, but I could try other things. You'd make a cute mouse, perhaps. I mean, if you're gonna have a magical date, you may as well do some magical stuff, right? Right? Anyway, since it like, looks like we're about done here, how about we take the path through the park, back to the bookshop, and we can, uh, play around a bit and see, you know, what fun things should happen to a car. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll take your chair, and you know what? I'll do it with a synth hand. Yeah, that's right. People can stare if they want to. And I wanted to say that really loudly, but then I thought about it, and I decided to whisper that brash thing I just said instead, so I can feel like I said it without actually drawing any conflict. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. You called me... What did you call me there? Oreo? Is it, have you given me a nickname? Oreo? Is it because of the stripes? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I like it. I like it, actually. That's actually really cute. Oreo. Okay, you can call me your Oreo if you want. I think of a nickname for you. Um, or I could call you my bookmark. No, okay. I, I need to think of some non book related nicknames. I'm sorry, my entire life is books, and books are kind of the only thing I think about on the day to day, so I could call you, uh, you know, um, uh, my page. <laughs> no, okay, I I'll workshop it. I'll workshop it. But you can call me Oreo if you want. It's a cute, cute nickname. Oreo. Okay, anyway. Uh, Enchante. Onwards. I don't know what Enchante means. All right. Ah, feels nice to be back out in the uh, in the open. Take a deep breath of that fresh uh, spring air. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I smell? Oh, I don't smell. Do I? Oh, just like I usually do. It's not bad, is it? I mean, you always say you like it, but you know, I always think, me. Oh, maybe they don't like it, and they're just being nice. Uh, you know, books and old Jedi is not the best spell in the universe. Mostly books. Mostly books, mind you. Mostly books. Um, okay, okay, cool. Because, you know, people are going to give me a wide berth off of that, even though it's kind of a pleasant smell, if you ask me. Um, but yes, park, park. Um, it's a beautiful day to go to the park. Um, they call this Leyline Park, and you know why that is? Uh, that's because, uh, there's a rumour that, uh, you know, a magical ley line kind of goes underneath the park, and that would explain why the bookshop is the way it is, so I kind of think that's true. Um, but you know, all kinds of weird things happen in this town in general. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a nice bit of trivia. I'm big on trivia, kind of. It's kind of, uh, my thing. Because all I do is read. And when all you do is read, you kind of pick up little facts here and there. Did you know that, uh, generally, people, in general, as a whole, buy more salsa than ketchup? It's fascinating. Um, anyway, anyway, um, it's lovely the flowers are blooming, spring is starting. Um, how about I pick some flowers for you? Um, again, doing it with the same hands, because I don't care if people stare. I do care if people stare, but I'm trying to be confident, so... Here... The lovely, uh, These might be weeds, but they're very pretty weeds. I've always had an affinity for weeds. Um... Cause, you know, there's always that cartoony, kind of... 
trope that doesn't do wonderful things for most species, where if we get near flowers, they kind of wilt. Uh, so people tend to not bring me flowers, or never been given flowers. So you don't have to give the flowers back. Oh, actually, oh, that's actually really cute if you want to. Oh, you want to put them in my tail? Oh, oh no, that's actually really sweet. Oh no, I'm supposed to be suave. I'm supposed to be suave right now, and you're kind of just you're, you're stealing my thunder in a delightful way. I'm not complaining, really. <laughs> I'm sorry. I try to be a confident guy, but I'm, I really just want to be cared for. <laughs> You're really good at that, so... Oh, it's okay, I'm blushing. Eh, my stripe's turning pink. It does that. Oh, no. It's my tail. Yeah, okay, there's the heart shapes. Heart shapes, tail constructs. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. People are staring, but that's fine. I've got flowers in my tail and a date boy on my side, so who cares? <laughs> anyway, let's go to the bookshop. <laughs> All right. Um, there we are, there we are. Back in safe and sound. So, now, a um, good way to finish out the day might be to try that bit of transformation or, or hypnosis or both. So, I don't know, what do you want to be? A mouse would be cute. It'd be smaller than me. I mean, what do you think a little bit taller than you? Be cute, I'll pick you up. Be really cute. Okay, mouse it is. Um, so I'm gonna concentrate for a moment. There we go. Um, and I'll need you to just kind of sit down here, and uh, I'm going to sit down next to you. I'm gonna curl my tail around the back, uh, and just drape it over your lap. This is comfortable, kind of like a duvet, like a living duvet. A living duvet that makes me squirm when you pet it. What you're doing right now, it isn't helping with the whole hypnosis thing. Okay, well, I mean, you can pet it if you want, but maybe we should do this later. I'm trying to be cool. Okay, we'll do it later. Well, well, you can pet my tail later, all you want. As long as you want. Um, anyway, back to the hypnosis thing. Um, I need you to relax, I feel a bit of tenseness in your back. Um, just have my tail rub your shoulder. Um, okay. Uh, and close your eyes. And I need you to breathe deeply in and out. And just find a comfortable rhythm, if you can. In, hold for a moment, and out. Perfect, perfect. Um, and I'm going to be t I'm going to produce a smell. Um, what what smell would be good? Um, I know, I know. We just picked a bunch of flowers, so how about the smell of um, you know, roses and fresh cut grass, kind of floral smell. So take a deep breath in, there you go, and out. And uh, as you do, you kind of starting to smell it a little bit. There you go, there you go. Focusing on that, and now focusing on my voice as I begin to talk. And continue breathing, continue breathing, that's very important. And begin to relax a little bit into my tail and into the scent. Kind of summery, springy scents. We're out of winter, we're out of, we're out of the dark, and we're into the springy, summery kind of thing. It's lovely, got nice company. Very nice company. And you know, the sun is shining and the grass is green. It's absolutely lovely here. And you just want to breathe deeply. Focusing on my voice. There you go. And now the synth hands are coming out. And we're going to start with your ears, because mice have those lovely ears. Um, and they're going to kind of rub your ears just gently. Just a gentle kind of back and forth rub on your ears. You can feel them kind of growing and stretching out, and there you go, there you go. And you can kind of twitch them now, isn't that neat? You've got more muscles in your ears than before. It's very cute, no, oh, not cute. Um, and they're going to kind of go down from your ears, keeping contact with your face. Gently cupping your cheeks, there you go. I'm going to kind of gently rub your face around, mush those cute cheeks up. Because you've got an adorable trans face, and it's adorable, and I really want to play with it. But we need to focus, because on the cool hypnotist skunk. Um, and we're going to gently rub out a muzzle. A nice pointed muzzle, in fact. There you go. And like, oh, and pull out little adorable whiskers. There you go. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And uh, need a little mousy nose. Now you're kind of smelling a bit better now, in fact. The smell of um, fresh cut grass and flowers is getting a little bit... Uh, a little bit more pronounced, um, and you know, normally the scent getting more pronounced around a skunk isn't the best thing in the world, but in this case, it's good. It's very good. Um, and, as we do this, you find yourself getting a little bit smaller. Feel your body kind of contracting with every exhale of that breath you're taking. 
And then with every exhale, getting just a little smaller, a little smaller, a little smaller, and you're hearing different things, and you're smelling different things, and you can kind of feel your body changing, your hips widening, because rounds are kind of pear-shaped, which isn't, you know, the worst shape to be. Not that I mind your shape as it is, but, you know, the change-up is kind of neat. Um, you can feel your tail growing in now, um, as my synth hands kind of trail up from the base of your neck down to the small of your back. Base of the neck, gently down, small of the back. And with every little stroke, um, your tail's gonna get a bit longer. And normally I'd give you a big fluffy tail, but this time it's kind of long and ropey. It's a little more mobile than usual. You can kind of feel it whipping through the air just lightly, searching things out, feeling the couch, my tail. Uh, your tail against my tail is always kind of a nice sensation, by the way. Um, but you can feel it growing out, growing out new vertebrae and all that kind of stuff. It's really neat, isn't it? And you can feel your, your feet and your hands changing just a little bit. And you've got claws now. Claws, isn't that neat? It's adorably neat. You can kind of scurry up bookshelves and all that kind of stuff. There you go. There you go. And now, take a deep breath in. A deep breath out and feel your fur. Yes, lovely grey fur, because you're a little grey mouse and it's adorable. Um, deep breath in and deep breath out. In. Hold. Out. There you go. There you go. I'm trying to go slowly with these things, but I get so excited that sometimes I kind of speed through it and I hope I'm doing it all over. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to ask that. I'm not going to ask that. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And there you are. You're adorable. You can open your eyes now. You're an adorable little mouse. Can I pick you up? I can't? Oh, oh hi. Hi, little mouse. Hello. Oh, I should have done this before we went on the date. You would have been adorable in the tea shop. Could have been a little tea shop mouse. Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm gushing. Oh, but you're so cute though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it worked too. Um, you know, the bookshop kind of changes me every now and again, but it's nice to change someone else. Hi. Hello. I'm gonna call you Bree like this. That'll be your nickname, Bree. A little, little bit of cheese. Look at you, you little bit of cheese. Oh, you want some cheese? I've got cheese in the fridge. Oh, is that specious? I don't want to be specious. Anyway, I'm getting really excited, but, um, how about this? Uh, I'll go get uh, a cheese plate and some fruit um, and some crackers. Um, I can turn on the TV. Um, I just got a new game. Um, it's one of those nice little life simulator games. Um, we can play it together. I've got, I've got a, a child-sized controller for when I take smaller forms, so it should be good for you, right? Um, and we can play the game, and you can nestle in my tail, um, and if you need anything, the hands will go and grab it. Um, but we can spend the rest of the day together. I think that'll be a nice way to end this date. Eh, Bree? <laughs> do you like that nickname? I'll work on it, but, you know, I, I, oh, you do? Good, good, good. Anyway, um, you're so cute! <laughs> anyway, just going to stop gushing now. I'll go get the cheese plate, uh, and we'll end the day together on the couch with you in a new form and me a little more confident and, uh, you know, just chill. <laughs> thank you so much, you adorable little thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop watching. I'm gonna go get the chase, but thank you. Thank you.